This video is about creating Starlit Sky background, um, which is part of actually a bigger painting, which I've got blocked off. You're not going to see it today because, well, it's not time to reveal it. So anyway, stick around. We're going to get this tutorial started and show you guys how easy it really is to paint a cool Starlit Sky like that. Okay guys, so I blocked off the bottom third of the painting because this is part of an actual larger painting where there's some water and stuff, but that's just really not important because this video isn't about that. So I started out, you see, I'm using a very light peachy color to start to create my first texture in there. And the reason is because there's going to be some sunlit from the background overflowing that water. Then I came in here with a very light pink and I just came in here and dusted in with... Uh, that light pink using cloud-like textures which you guys have seen me before use um it's kind of a figure eight motion just being very shaky handed and then i you actually darken that pink up or i lighten that pink up even more and you know glazed it in there made sure i got some coverage in rough coverage then i came in and i mixed a light blue covered all that up in light blue in a few places here and there and you know i know it doesn't look like anything right now but it will come together um this is one of those situations where i am working with the uh, very desaturated colors to make them actually appear bright later on and if you've seen any of my other videos you've seen me do this before um you know because your colors in reality usually are much less vibrant than you think and then i came in and i mixed a little bit of magenta with that pink and made a bruisish purple and put a few line works in here and there um still continuing to work with that cloud-like texture there and then you can see how i blend that in and i'm blending it back towards that lightest section and like i said the reason that's that way is because this is part of another painting and that is going to simulate some sunlight coming in from another direction I have now mixed up a mid-shade gray. It is approximately about a 50% gray, maybe a 60%. It is nowhere near as dark as what you may think at first. And then I'm going to come in here where the gas and the clouds and stuff threw out there, and I'm going to start laying it in there. Of course, I'm using the Gerald Mendez Texture Effects stencil there. Um, you know, not trying to sell you guys anything. I use them all the time. Um, just something I use. And... I'm going to lay it in there and use it. I'm really just working off the edge just to give me those rough edge shapes and not really using it for the holes very much, but I will use it some. And then, of course, anytime you're using a stencil, you need to um, work with freehand to enhance that. And you'll see how I'm just going to create a lot of cloud-like textures within those colors. And now you'll start to see why we have those lighter colors before because now that we start laying in the darks and we leave spots out, those lighter colors are peeking through and it's going to give us that gaseous appearance that uh, nebulas and the Milky Way galaxies and things like that are, you know, known for. So we're going to come in here and I'm working really you know, not trying to reach 100% intensity and working light. I apologize that I first intended this video to be a real-time video and I intended it to be all in real time, but there was a problem with the audio, so I had to delete this video so I could overdub it and I wasn't going to overdub 25 minutes worth. So I'm going to continue to work and I'm going to notice how I'm putting some darks in in other places as well. And those are going to come evident, even though we got more colors going on top, that's going to become evident why I did that. And remember what I was talking about. Those colors are going to play a little peekaboo game here and it's going to create a lot of depth and dimension in your painting. You could do this over black. However, it's going to take a great deal of white paint to come in over black. If you're starting on top of white, it really is easier. And it may seem like we put a lot of layers in here, but this whole thing took me about 30 minutes to get this whole sky section in. And of course, I'm shading and blending out with that gray. 
and you see how those clouds are starting to appear like I've got other videos if you haven't seen any of my other videos you know I have other videos about clouds and textures and things like that um, you know it will take a little bit of practice to get the look that you're going for and of course if you need a reference photo use a reference photo and start trying to mimic those shapes and that will help you learn how to create your own shapes randomly like I'm doing here I darkened up my gray mix just a little bit and as you can see I'm just randomly throwing a bunch of shapes and textures in there sparingly um, well not necessarily fairly liberally um, but still we're only at about a 60 maybe 70 percent value gray at the moment and once I did that I'm going to start splattering my first layer of stars and I do that actually what I got in my hand is a ruler and I'm laying my airbrush down directly on that I spray as it hits the wood it splatters off a bunch of little dots so I started out working on making little stars the further you away from the tip the wider your stars are going to be or the bi bigger and fatter the stars are going to be so as you can see with a little bit of practice you can vary the intensity and size of those stars and how much splatter effect you get um, it's a really cool easy to do effect it has multiple uses besides just um, laying out stars but it makes stars just a simple breeze then of course I've came in here with a little bit of white and I've brightened in a couple of areas that I wanted to and then I'm going to do a very light splatter effect right there and just highlight and intensify that area off the cloud so as you see I zoomed in here to give you an idea of how many little micro stars are going in there and how that lays out and you can see exactly how that effect is if it happens to be your first time here and you're liking what you're seeing make sure you hit the subscribe button give me a like thumbs up all that good stuff i tell people all the time if you don't like the video you can give me a thumb down and that is fine too because you know not really going to hurt my feelings too much so anyway let's get back to this tutorial now after i've got that first layer of stars in i'm going to go ahead and get some transparent cobalt blue mix up my cobalt blue it's not real heavy and i'm going to start working from the outside and covering up that outside edge of the sky and as you notice I used my shield there to keep me off of that brightest spot of the nebula so that I did not you know get paint on that and create that crisp edge some people are going to ask me why I did my stars in multiple layers when you get done with this but the reason why is because those stars get colored as I do this and then that creates more depth some of your stars will have a little bit of different coloring than the others which will simulate reality better so here i go with round two of the stars as you can see and i'm going some heavy ones on the outer edge uh just like before and like i said and the reason that is and now you can probably start to see how you've got some blue stars in the background that are still they're still showing up and then you've got the whiter stars in front of you and you know it starts to create depth now i've mixed up as you can see i've got a little bit of a violet i actually added some magenta to the um cobalt blue that i already had in my cup now i'm coming in and hitting some things and I didn't have much cobalt blue in there, so you can see this is more of a purplish or more magenta than it is there. But as it mixes with the blue on the outer edges, of course, it becomes a very violet color. Um, then I came back in and I took some blue violet mixed with my existing mixture, and which is a little bit darker than the cobalt blue and the magenta mix, and then I started edging in and working towards from the outside in creating just a little bit of a um, vignette and then once I did that here I am back in there with the stars again then I will take my white and I will brighten up a couple of spots that I felt needed to be a little bit brighter and you know just create off the edge of those clouds just a little bit 
and then I'm going to come in here with a dark blue so it's a little bit of black mixed with that cobalt blue and create a little bit of a darker texture inside that cloud structure and then you see I'm putting some random shapes in there then I'm going to come and pull a couple of little highlights out with my eraser just add a couple spots here there you go guys all really really easy things uh very easy just need to remember you know to layer them colors and understand that you know things can have an ugly stage and they look ugly as you're going through them and that's that's okay you just have to learn to trust that there's a process that you're working in and trust it don't expect everything to look good if you're if something looks bad that doesn't mean you suck it means you're not done you can continue to work until it does look good anything can be fixed anytime anyway guys i'm bill kennedy with w leon artistry i appreciate y'all for stopping by if you want to check out more of my stuff you can always hit me up on patreon i have a patreon page i've got more videos coming out there i don't have a lot of content on there right now it's three or four videos um got more and more coming and if you're interested in the stuff we're using make sure you check out the link that i'll have down for my kit page that shows all the not all but a lot of the things that i work with and you know, that helps support the channel because those are affiliate links. And, you know, if you click and buy stuff through the affiliate links, of course, I would get a commission off of that. But anyway, we appreciate you guys. Y'all have a good one. Bye.